Oklahoma DA had a lot of success with getting young people together and, and try to send the message of making good decisions. Good kids make good decisions and uh, learning about it. So building on that success, we were able to take some of the drug forfeiture money that we have and, and uh, put the camp together, get the shirts, buy some basketballs and, uh, and pay some money that we needed to uh, for transportation and other activities to get kids involved. So we, we think it's a great opportunity for young kids particularly to learn and, as you do on the basketball court. And when you get in trouble on the court, they always tell you to go to the ball and try to help out. But we try to tell these young kids, hey, people make mistakes. And when you see someone make a mistake, go and try to help them out. And that's what uh, life is about, people helping people. So we hope they learn something here at the, at the camp. We're not adverse to trying anything that works. We'd like to run it down county a little further next time, so we're trying to get our feet under us and, and uh, you know, trying to get the program people lined up, as you can imagine. It gets you a pretty big task to bring speakers in every day and you know, bring the dogs in, so just coordinating that effort, it, it takes a lot of time. So I think we have three good solid programs, we're going to build on that and try to broaden it up to you know, the Franklins, the Renthams, and the areas of the other parts of the county. You know, uh, we only have so many resources, but if there are people in the communities who, uh, the community groups would like to also help us organize camps, then we can also potentially assist with the funding. It doesn't have to be sports camp. Anything where kids can interact. We're not adverse to trying anything that works. They can do uh, arts, theater, the crafts, they can do soccer, you know, a theater camp would be great. Now, finding people who may want to do that and encourage kids to do that, that, you know, that gets harder. But you know, we often rely upon volunteers and the limited paid staff that they have in the DA's office. So most of the people here are volunteering.